Hello everyone, my name is Nadeem Khan. Welcome to Uncommon Literature. Today we are going to do The Tiger by William Blake. This is a poem from Songs of Experience and it is in continuation of The Lamb. So if you have not seen the video or if you have not read the poem Lamb, you must see that. I have added the link in the description. So let us begin. So basically in this this is a praise of god that it is the same god who created the lamb which is very innocent and the god has another side as well which is very fierce and that god can also create uh, an animal like tiger so let us start tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night by this line you can understand that it is the time of night and in the forest the tiger is looking like burning bright why burning bright because it is a metaphor which is used to indicate its yellow hair what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry so this question is very important that uh, the poet is questioning that what immortal hand or eye so this is a cynic doki which is used for part for the whole so it is hand or eye which is used for the whole body so what hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry so the animal is so fearful who could frame such an uh, such an animal okay so this is the question before going to the next stanza, I would draw your attention that now he would, the poet would talk about different body parts of uh, tiger in each stanza. In what distant deeps or skies burnt the fire of thine eyes? The eyes of the ti tiger have a lot of fire in them and he wonders how could the god bring that fire he must have brought it from the deeps or sky you know deep or skies meaning either from the sun or heaven from the skies or from uh, the earth or from the deep oceans or hell when he says deeps okay on what wings dare he aspire so basically on which wings did God go to get the fire from these distant places? What the hand dare seize the fire? And what was that hand which could, you know, seize, which could grab that fire from that place? Next stanza talks about the heart of the tiger. And what shoulder and what art could twist the sinews of thy heart so basically in this line he questions that what was the hand and shoulder of uh, god who could twist meaning give shape to the muscles of your heart okay so and when thy heart began to beat what dread head and what dread feet so basically he is asking that when your heart started to beat when your heart started to uh, you know flow the blood so what was that hand and feet who, who was behind your creation okay next stanza talks about the brain of the tiger with the imagery of iron smith okay so whatever tools an iron smith uses so all the images all the tools have been given in this stanza what the hammer what the chain in what furnace was thy brain so hammer you know chain you know fur so furnace is a like enclosed place in which you can melt anything so you must uh, have understood by so what the anvil anvil is again this shape which i have uh, uh, shown on the screen and what dread grass dare its deadly terrors claps so basically after talking about all the tools and you know which were used to frame the brain of the tiger by this line he wonders that uh, how powerful would be the grasp of the creator which could hold the deadly brain of this animal in the next stanza 
he talks about the you know the archangels when in fight with the god they were thrown out from heaven and uh, he relates this incident of uh, paradise lost with the fierceness of the tiger so let us read when the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears so the first line uh, represents that when the archangels uh, you know were thrown out from the heaven and watered heaven with their tears so they cried a lot by looking at the fierceness of this animal okay so they considered themselves defeated by looking at this animal that it is so fierce animal did he smile his work to see so th this is for one question so did god smile after creating the animal this tiger did he smile after creating this animal did he who made the lamb make thee so here is the connection between both the poems so the poet here wants to tell us that it is the same god who created the lamb and here the same god has also created this fierce animal and the last stanza is the repetition of the first one but with a little minor change that is of this word dare so tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night what mortal eye or hand dare frame thy fearful symmetry so basically here day by dare it shows the challenge that who could dare to build your symmetry it can only be done by god and no one else with this we have come to the end of this poem you read the poem line wise and you will surely understand if you still face any doubt you can write me in the comment section i have also noticed one thing that most of the people are not subscribing to the channel so i request all of you to subscribe the channel and thank you so much